And extreme thank you to Patty, who I met. And Patty, I believe your husband's name is Mike. I hope I got that right. Lovely people. Patty is a seamstress. And out of canvas, she made these custom bags for me because she saw me struggling with my eBay packages. And now I can get to the post office with ease. Patty, thank you so, so, so much. It was wonderful to meet you. And Mike, and I've got, she gave me some other things I'm going to tell you about later, but I was so excited. Ugh. Well, that's the back of the post office. I couldn't get a parking spot out front. So around the block I go. All right, I feel it's gonna happen this time. It's gonna happen. Okay, my trip to the post office was a well okay my trip to the post office was a success while I'm down here in South Philly I'm heading into the Goodwill it's open let's go see what we can find I'm feeling lucky oh you should have seen everybody they were green with envy when I walked into no when I sauntered into that post office with my custom-made canvas carrying delivery bags you could hear people gasp with envy Okay, safe inside and look, it did not take me long. All right, hold the camera still, hold the camera still. I was so, uh, I think I was trying to get the snow off my boots. Look at this, a 1930s uh, little mayonnaise dish and it's got the glass serving spoon in it. You almost never find those. That serving spoon and that dish have been together for almost 100 years. At least 85 years they've been together and they're still together and they're in my cart. Now this is the uh, princess pattern and um, depression glass and it's a covered sugar bowl and that's gonna that's a piece of glass with uranium in it as I mean, like 90% of the glass from that era uh, it's got the uh, uranium in it, so it glows, but it was nice to find the covered sugar bowl. Uh, no creamer, but two pieces of depression glass right off the bat. And then uh, open lace or old colony by Anchor Hawking in the crystal color. My camera work was pretty bleak today. I mean here when I'm filming so I'm gonna apologize ahead of time I don't know what was on my mind but I really was not handling the uh, ca camera very well so I already know it's gonna be a little up and down and then these said uh, uh, ice cream they were interesting little I think Briar's ice cream uh, they weren't old but I just liked the graphic on them And then this was a pretty plate. I was thinking very hard about it. Uh, it's, it is hand painted. Uh, $3, not bad. It really is a nice looking plate. Uh, 
but sadly you're gonna see in just a minute uh, ooh that's a not a good chip you see that yeah yep had to put that back uh, otherwise I would have bought it now that stack of blue plates right there if I hold still oh my gosh I know look away okay <laughs> That stack of blue plates is not depression uh, glass. Uh, oh, here's a Pyrex lid. Mm, uh, it's chipped. So um, I did set I did set it back down. Uh, I do find a lot of those Pyrex lids and I try not to buy them uh, if they're chipped. Lusterware plates. Well, actually, Lusterware saucers, no teacups, and the, bread, the dessert plates underneath. Oh, here is a Wexford uh, cream and sugar by Anchor Hawking. I think I think that first came out in 1967, but I might have those dates wrong. Uh, there's another one of those old dishes. This one was not in it was not Pyrex, uh, and it wasn't in all that terrific uh, condition. It has uh, the aluminum lid, uh, so I just decided not to buy that one. That yellow piece that we just passed was plastic plastic oh there's more anchor hawking now I looked the, that up and uh, even with the lid uh, it it might sell for five or six or seven or eight dollars I just decided I'd leave it for someone else oh I'm gonna show it to you again There weren't any chips on it, but five dollars really doesn't leave a whole lot. And uh, from a business sense, as you know, the time and the effort and uh, to put the whole thing together uh, is something I just decided I'll leave it there for a collector uh, to discover. That wasn't anything special, that leaf dish. I see in the forecast that it is going to be warming up in Texas, I think 70 degrees, not tomorrow, but the next day. Amen for that. Boy, it's been rough, hasn't it, Texans? Now, the, of course, here's some more Pyrex. Um, three of the bowls for $13. Uh, and again, I also decided I wouldn't buy that. The graphic looks really, really good on it. And that chipped lid we saw a minute ago might have gone to that set. Who knows? Uh, so I'm really happy to see that it's going to be nice and warm tomorrow and, and up to 70, I believe, on Tuesday in, in the state of Texas. So... Oh, I hope some that brings relief to so many that are really suffering right now in that part of the country. Uh, yay! Well, actually, not so yay. You'll see in a minute. But there are eight of the anchor hawking um, little mini casseroles here. French onion soup is good in those. Um, and the price is okay. And of course, the painting on there is really good. Uh, uh, the uh, the gay fad paint applied paint is good. All peaches. Sometimes you'll get it where there'll be it's varied peaches and grapes and bananas and apples. Uh, but sadly, I had to turn it down. And I'll tell you why in a second. Now here's this lusterware cream and sugar. Now, if you'll notice, it matches those plates that were on the other side. Yeah. And uh, I'm trying to figure out where to put that creamer. I could have purchased just the uh, cream and sugar. It would have been $6 for the set. 
but then I would be splitting them up from all those plates, but there were saucers and no teacups. So I just didn't buy any of it. Uh, I did eventually move the cup, the cream and sugar over to where the plates were, hoping that someone would see everything and buy it. But again, there are no teacups and I just didn't want to split up what was left. Anyway, the anchor hocking pieces I put in my basket, but then ended up putting back because uh, there were cracks in two of them. There's Wexford again. Right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, but otherwise, I think I would have bought the anchor hocking if it didn't have those cracks. Here are two, uh, I'm, I'm almost convinced that these were punch cups. I have about eight of these uh, that I pick up and I have never, ever, ever found a saucer. And, um, and, and uh, so I, th I think that they might've been, those pink things might've been manufactured as punch cups. This guy has a big old chip in his the rim of his hat. I turned it upside down to see if it might be uh, Royal Dalton, but quality isn't quite there, and there's a big chip in it. But so far, I'm really happy with my two pieces of depression glass. I did buy both of those, by the way. You'll see them another at another time. Sometimes it's hard to see. They have things stacked up very high and you can't get way up there to see it. Those green bowls are Martha Stewart, not Depression Era. She uh, or her company made a lot of green glass in the 90s, remember? Hand painted in Japan, that was okay. That decorative plate. You see, I've come all the way back around again to sort of double think, and uh, I just decided, no, we'll leave it all there. No luster wear today. Okay. Well, before I get out of here, I do want to show you a beautiful piece of furniture. Not that big thing. No, no, no. Uh, this little Mission Oak writing desk, and this is the real thing. Remember when Oak Mission Oak was popular again in the 90s? But this is the real thing, and it dates to just after the turn of the century. Now, someone has covered the top of it. Um, you can see there the old upholstery tack, and that's a nice piece of textured, uh, uh, textured leather. It's actually, I think it's... I think it's a re real leather and not something synthetic. Look at how nice the uh, hardware is. Really good to find uh, a, a piece of hardware that's original on an oak piece like this. We're going to turn it upside down and give it the oxidation scratch test, which we really don't need to do, but you know you can test. Now watch. See that? Now I'm not harming the piece at all. That's the underside of the drawer. And uh, the beautiful color on that, that's taken over a hundred years. And what you're just scratching off is just the discoloration from oxidized wood. If this had been a reproduction and stained to fool you, you wouldn't be able to do that. You can scratch all you want and you're gonna not get that wonderful light color underneath. That's a nice piece. Well, there she sits, the poor old thing. I know, I've filmed down here many times before and wait till that truck goes by. I've told you all about the SS United States. It is sitting in the Delaware River, which you can't see because of this big pile of snow. But what a strange, almost eerie juxtaposition of a great big ocean liner with funnels, old fashioned looking in front of what looks like an iceberg. Kind of poignant in a way. 
Well, I've pulled over at the Chick-fil-A and I'm gonna eat my sandwich, but but I'll let you enjoy the view. She was a grand old girl. And now I'm headed for my hometown. There's a crock pot with ham and cabbage waiting for me. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. This is Scott from the old curiosity shop saying thanks for watching and so long for now. An April shower, even John D. Rockefeller is looking for the silver lining. Mr. Herbert Hoover says that now's the time to buy. So let's have another cup of coffee and let's have another piece of pie.